Hey everybody out there. It's Jerry Manthe. Hi. Oh my gosh, 100 followers. Thank you. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much. Um, I'm trying to figure out the logistics now because I want to look at what you're sending me. And I know a lot of you out there um, have some questions and I know you want them answered. So I'm going to do my best and answer as many as I possibly can. So I have to turn the phone around and um, what you're going to be looking at is my garden, actually. It's very windy today. You might hear the wind chimes, but um, if it's too loud, let me know and I'll close the door. But I just want to give you something pretty to look at while I answer your questions. Hi! Oh my gosh, look at all those hearts. I love it. Um, oh, here we go. Swipe down. This. No. Hey! Awesome, you guys. Look at all those hearts. I love it. This is so cool. All right. So, you know, you sent me a bunch of questions on Twitter. So let me get to some of these. Yes, I follow every season of Survivor, RPR, 99999. Um, gosh, this is so fast. Do I like Little Dickens Cider? I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like my backyard. Um, Survivor Will, any advice for someone who wants to apply for Survivor? You know what? Let's just go ahead and get right into that because a lot of you guys ask me, um, what do I need to put on my audition tape to get on Survivor? And there are certain things that they are definitely looking for. I'm going to do my best to give you some Survivor Inside info there, Adam McMullen. Um, <laughs> thank you, Fancy Ancy. <laughs> For the compliment. Um, so one of the things they are definitely looking for is um, they want you to show off your personality. Um, a lot of mistakes that people make on their Survivor audition tapes is they, they talk about why you want to be on Survivor, why you'd be great on Survivor. They show pictures of themselves, you know, on Survivor pretending to look like they were on Survivor. But the casting people don't want to see that. What they want to see is your personality. They want to know, are you funny? And if you're funny, in what way? Are you sarcastic? Are you um, quick-witted? You know, do you entertain people? Are you kind of an introvert? Um, which isn't really that great for Survivor. You don't want to be introverted. But... Um, Oh, I wish non-U.S. citizens could play, too. I've been trying to talk them into doing a Canadian Survivor for years. Um, so they also want to see if you have, like, some sense of, like, sex appeal. Are you a sexy person? Are you flirtatious? Um, thank you. I was a tough cookie on the Outback. <laughs> um, they want to see if you're kind of like a sexy person, if you're someone who's going to flirt, someone's going to show some skin. Um, and they also want to know how you handle conflicts in your normal life. Um, do you handle it well? Are you a bit of a hothead? Do you have anger management issues? Um, they don't necessarily want someone who's crazy, but believe it or not, but they do want to make sure that they can see how you're going to handle conflict. Um, with your survivor audition tape, would you want what you want to do is be as real as you possibly can. It's reality TV. They want real people. They don't want actors. So if you have a story to share about how you've interacted with someone at your job, they love, they love knowing about what job you have, how much you love it or hate it, and how you deal with people in your office setting. You know, these are all things that you really want to get on your survivor audition tape. Uh, I handle conflict well. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Sometimes I don't. I think as I've gotten older, I've just realized I need to stay out of the conflict, really. Um, yes, it is very hard to talk and read these messages, Jeremiser. <laughs> um, what was my favorite season? Australia, for sure. It was the most fun and I think the coolest location, to be honest. Also one of the most dangerous outside of Africa. Um, but Australia was definitely my personal favorite, and I think the casting was just amazing. You know, not just because I was on it, but because the people that were on it were all so diverse and interesting. 
um, and the things that happened on Australia were so random. Like no one could ever have predicted someone would fall in the fire or any of that good stuff. Um, I thought Survivor was in Norway, you guys. Um, is it bad if you quietly stew in your hate when you handle conflict? Absolutely stew in your hate. You can say whatever you want on Survivor to the cameras in your little side interviews. Just don't say it to the other contestants. That's my biggest advice. Um, I don't really talk to Colby. I've tried a couple times to reach out to him, but um, he doesn't really respond unless we're all hanging out somewhere. Yes, I remember the creepy Finnish guy. I still uh, communicate with him on Twitter, and he does come on the Survivor After Show with his tweets occasionally. Um, there is a Survivor family, yes. You guys, pardon me. I'm going to take my dog for a walk. She's whining at the front door, so let's go for a walk. Um, who will win second chances? Oh, my gosh. You guys, all I know is I am so stoked that both Jeff Varner and Kimmy got on. My two OGs from Australia, who I absolutely love and adore and support 100%, and I think both of them deserve a second chance. Um, let's see. It's amazing that Australia will be the season with the most returnees. Yes, I know. Isn't that amazing? I'm so glad. Um, all right, you want to see my dog? Rocky. Wait, hold on. Let me flip this thing around again. Ah, oh, gosh. This is my little doggie. Hey, Rocky. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Oh, I also have a kitty cat. This is my little kitty cat. Her name is Kaya. <laughs> Oh, you think I'm sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, Rocky is a girl. Her name is Rocky with an I. And her little tail is wagging right now because she really needs to go outside. Um, Jeff Varner. Made, you know what? Jeff Varner, I don't know if you guys know this, but recently he went on record saying that he actually saw Kel sewing beef jerky into his pants before we all went out into the outback. All right, Rocky, I got to put her leash on. You guys, hang on. Keep sending those questions and, and making hearts. I love this. This is so much fun. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, Woo. I know. What's up with Woo? How do you guys feel about Woo? Because I don't really understand how Woo got on the, the second chance. Because he picked Tony to go to the end, which is like the dumbest move I think anyone has ever made at the final end. When you get to the end... It's like, come on, you want to take somebody along that you are, that can't beat you. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is really hard to put on a leash while I'm talking on the phone. I've got so many things going on. Hold on, everybody, hold on for a second. I'm still here. <laughs> Rocky, come here. I got to get her leash on, you guys. She really needs to go outside. This is hilarious. So hold on for a second. Shane, I know. Shane, why didn't Shane get on? Oh, gosh. He was such a great character. Everybody thinks he's crazy. Even those of us in the Survivor community think he's totally nuts. And to see Shane get back on because Shane was such a great character. Okay, let's see. You okay. I live in the suburbs now. Let's see, why didn't you get on? Well, because it was Survivor Second Chances, you guys, and I've already played three times, so it would have been my fourth chance. Um, and so that did not make me eligible. Do you think Tina deserved to win? Absolutely Tina deserved to win, you guys. I voted for her to win the million dollars. It was my vote that actually decided her million dollar win because